Breaking news from Fair's Facebook studio. We're just learning that uh, Speaker of the House Paul Ryan is going to allow a vote on the floor next week uh, for two immigration bills in order to persu- d- uh, dissuade re- two Republicans not to sign a discharge petition. Uh, we're talking about this live with you right now. I'm Joe Gomez, joined by R.J. Haman, our Government Relations Director. R.J., Talk to us about these bills that are going to be voted on on the House floor next Yeah, week. of course. So uh, leadership has been working uh, behind the scenes a lot to stave off this discharge petition that we've talked to you guys about this before that would cause a series of four votes on four amnesty bills with the likely result being the passage of a DREAM Act amnesty for about 3.5 million illegal aliens. So under this new deal that Speaker Ryan has rolled out, they rolled out a bill yesterday. It's called the Compromise Bill. The uh, Border Security and Immigration Reform Act. It will be voted on alongside the Goodlatte Bill, which we've mentioned before, which is the best possible solution out there that seeks to address the DACA population, as President Trump has requested to do, and then make some fundamental reforms to our legal immigration system and ramp up border security and enforcement. But, Joe, I think what we need to talk about is, the, is this new bill that, you know, everybody, everybody hasn't seen. It was drafted in smoke filled back rooms several blocks away from us right here in the Capitol. And what this bill does, and it's important everybody understands this, it gives amnesty to 1.8 million people. That is the whole DACA-eligible population. It also provides a path to citizenship to children of guest workers. It contains no mandatory E-Verify to prevent future uh, illegal immigration. It also t- contains some positive things like fully funds the border wall and closes a lot of legal immigration loopholes that cause border surges. But you know what? It's Again, it's still a mass amnesty bill. Well, we're taking your questions here live on Facebook. And uh, Samantha from Florida, RJ, has a question. She asks, what's the worst possible scenario and what can she do to stop it? Yeah, of course. The worst possible scenario, though, now is obviously the worst possible scenario was the DREAM Act passing. Which is just a no, which is just a no strings attached, clean amnesty. So that's not going to happen anymore. Now the discharge petition, you know, has been staved off. But now the worst possible thing is leadership's bill passing. The best possible scenario is the Goodlatte bill to pass or both to fail. Honestly, Fair has has been committed to no amnesty through our through our whole existence. We do not support amnesty in any form. However, we do support a lot of the things that are in both of these bills. But I think what you can do out there is just to urge your representatives to vote against, next week, vote against the Border Security and Immigration Reform Act. There's no number on it yet even, Joe. This was just thrown together at the last minute to, again, to prevent a worse bill from passing. And, you know, that's not a solution. You don't legislate with a gun to your head. Again, this was this, the process wasn't fair, it wasn't open, and they basically just had to draft an amnesty bill to appease a small group of rogue pro-amnesty Republicans and the United Democratic Caucus. Well, that was, I think you kind of answered uh, David's question from California. Mm-hmm. He wanted to know, how did we get here in the first place, and why are so many Republicans, so-called centrist Republicans, right. teaming with Democrats to get this through? You no, know, it's, it's ridiculous, too. And, you know, they, they, they call them moderates and centrists. No, they're maximalists. They're, 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 they're radicals on immigration. They want just a mass amnesty for many illegal aliens and do, and do nothing to prevent a future situation in the past. But again, you know, the uh, House leadership was put in a really rough situation. Again, there are only two discharge uh, petition signatures away. They needed to prevent this because, as you guys know out there, if all the House did was pass the DREAM Act and no real reforms that President Trump ran on or what the GOP says they stood for um, when you guys voted uh, voted for them. Um, It's ridiculous. And Katie uh, from South Carolina wants to know, what kind of impact is this going to have on the midterm elections if Democrats get their way and they get this bill, this compromise bill through the Well, you know, I don't even know if Democrats will even support the compromise bill because Democrats have said, Basically, they will vote against any bill, even if it provides a path to citizenship for millions of illegal aliens. They will still vote against it if it has any, you know, one iota of enforcement in it or any uh, small reductions to illegal immigration. They will completely vote against it. You know, but fortunately, I guess the wild card now here is is President Trump. What's he going to do? He tweeted this morning. He tweeted just actually about 20 minutes ago about the reforms, kind of the framework that he's looking for. This bill does meet several of those, those four pillars that he laid out. Legal immigration reforms, building the wall, closing these loopholes. 
things like that. But, you know, right now he said, I'm not going to, I will not sign the more moderate bill, which is clearly the bill that Speaker Ryan rolled out yesterday, the Border Security and Immigration Reform Act. That's the more moderate bill, the stronger bill on enforcement, the weaker bill on the amnesty front, the smaller, like a smaller amnesty, and a lot of good enforcement is the good lap bill. Well, it sounds like President Trump is sticking to his guns here, mm-hmm. and some of these uh, renegade Republicans aren't. Uh, so if this bill passes, let's say Trump is not going to sign it, what happens then? And also, I mean, Trump gave a pretty generous offer when right. you talk about amnesty to begin with. Yeah. Why didn't Democrats take that offer then? Uh, again, it, it just it has shown them to be the total maximalists on this. They are they're, they're unwilling to compromise at all. I think the point everybody can agree on is if you do do some type of amnesty, you don't want to be in that situation 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line, where we're again sitting with several million people that were brought here as children, perhaps, and wondering what to do. We need to prevent that from happening down the line. And what we look at of all these bills out there, they don't truly do that. Again, both of these bills out there, both of these amnesty proposals that are coming out there contain a lot of positive reforms. But again, they fall short of the mark. So just to recap, RJ, when is this going to happen? And what do uh, our viewers on Facebook right now need to do to stop? Well, hey, stay tuned, everybody. I mean, this bill text was just dropped yesterday afternoon. We were at a meeting in the Capitol. We discussed uh, what was being what was being proposed. We are still currently analyzing it, and we will we stand ready to tell you guys when it's time to act. We don't know when the vote is going to be next week. Uh, it's a still a wait and see mode. And again, I think everybody out there can kind of understand this is Washington at its worst. Again, bill drafted behind closed doors, rushing it to the floor outside of regular order in the amendment process. You know, it's just a, it's a it's a whole ridiculous process. But again, stay tuned. If you haven't signed up for our email, the fair take, it's going to be out on Saturday. We have a nice comparison side by side um, of both of these bills, so you can know exactly what's in it. A lot of spin out there in the news, the fake news media, and all that. Uh, rely on fair though to give you the true provisions in each bill and tell you what's good and what isn't. All right. Well, thank you, R.J. Hammond, Government uh, Relations Director for FAIR. I'm Joe Gomez, and that was breaking news from the FAIR studio live in Washington, D.C.